Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. Um, it is currently Tuesday, uh, September 15th, I think. Yesterday was launch day, so yeah, September 15th. Um, we just launched a l so many new fall um, clothing and tees, graphic tees, onto the site. So make sure you go down below, um, hit that link, and check out our site to see what new arrivals we have in. Um, sorry, my hair, like, I'm doing my natural hair because trying to give it a break and oh it's it's, it's hard um <laughs> try not to put any heat on it for at least a week and I'm gonna start doing that like once a month or something just go a whole week without using any heat products or anything like that on my hair but anyways that is not what this video is about today um today I'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag video for you guys if you don't know I am a single mom of two toddlers a two and a three year old so I carry, I mean, I don't have to carry a lot with me like I did when they were newborns, but I still have to carry like toys and little things like that with me. So I was just going to show you guys what all I carry in, my, carry in my bag. I'm so obsessed with this bag. I'll go into more details about this bag here in just a few minutes, but yes. Um, if you're not already, I would love it if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much. And also give this video a big thumbs up. Just saying that you enjoy what's in our bag or what's in my bag videos. Like, I'm obsessed with watching them. I don't know why. I have been since I was in high school. So, that's been, that's been a while. Let's just say that but yes make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below I'm working right now on making a list of all the videos that I would like to do for you guys whether it's educational videos on growing a business being a boutique owner being a single mom how I raise two toddlers like anything in that realm just let me know in the comments down below so I can do a video on it for you guys and of course I'm gonna have all my social medias and our business accounts down below so you can check them out okay I'm actually gonna get into this video because I know I can ramble forever I'll talk about the most random stuff but anyways so this bag is the simple stylish backpack um, leather bag her faux leather bag but is so soft I love this bag so much so it's a very large I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very large backpack. I'll insert some pictures here of what it looks like when you're wearing it. It's It doesn't actually look that big when you're wearing it and stuff. Um, but I just love this bag. It fits everything you need. Um, it's got the square design. So even when it's like completely empty, you still get that perfect square design. Um, and also when you open it up, it's not like... It opens up very wide. So I'll show you guys here. So the zippers are all the way on the sides. And it opens up so you can see everything inside of it, which is one of my favorite qualities about this bag. One of my favorite things about this bag because um, as a mom of two toddlers, there's lots of little toys, trinkets, snacks, and everything you can think of. They get lost in the bottom of a bag. If, you, if you're a mom, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I hate losing stuff in my bag or having to dig forever to try to find something. So the fact that this bag opens up so large, um, you know... It just makes it really easy to find things and another great quality about this bag is the fact that it has so many pockets so you got two front pockets here there's um, side pockets also a back pocket and pockets on the inside of the bag so I'll show you that in just a minute um, and it comes with this really nice strong handle I did add this little little fuzzy ball I don't know why I just think it looks so cute on there well it's hard to tell but I just think it looks it just adds a little extra to the bag so I'm gonna start off by showing you what is in this pocket right here this front pocket okay so my phone dies a lot and then the kids also have their own tablets that can die when we're out to eat or anything like that so I did grab this battery pack off of oh no this one's from Target I do have some from Amazon but I got this one from Target when we were in Florida the last time we went to our Disney trip because um I forgot to take ours with me on that trip but anyways these are awesome for Disney trips if you um, are in the Disney park any we travel to Disney quite a bit but now I just keep it in my bag with me um, because since the kids are on their tablets more and I'm on my phone a lot more it's just good to have with me so I have that as well as I don't want the charger in here <laughs> I actually took it out yesterday and put it in the car or like was using it in the car but this is the little like connector cord holder thingy I don't know you can get them off Amazon they're really handy though they hold your cord together so the cords aren't everywhere I don't know it's just really a convenient thing cash because I just throw it in there um 
my son opened up a chewing gum packet. I don't know if that happens to any of you. But yeah, he opened up a chewing gum packet. So now I have all this random chewing gum that I just threw in the bottom. Hand sanitizer because, you know, Corona. Um, more chewing gum. Oh my gosh. I get to clean up my bag now. Yay. Uh, here's a perfume little thing. You've probably seen these. These are really, really awesome. I love them. You just... So you have a perfume bottle. I don't have one nearby, but like when you have perfume, one of your favorite perfumes, but you don't want to carry the bottle with you everywhere. And we travel quite a bit. So like, I just hate traveling with perfume bottles. So what you do is you take this and you put this on the top of the, um, you know, part where you squish. You take that off and stick this on there and fills it up. I don't know. It's really, it's pretty cool. Got it off Amazon. I think I got four of them off Amazon. Really, really affordable and come in handy. And I actually use um, one of them. I have it labeled on there but i use one of them for my hair like i have this hair spritzy stuff that supposed to volumize your hair um so i use it for hair products too not just perfume so that's, that's weird but yeah it works really well okay next is this zipper pocket right here um oh there's just a couple things in here so i keep pins and then some markers i let the kids use these markers but these are my pants. These are my designated colors for my planner. Blue and black. So blue is anything to do with the boutique. Ooh, I got a hair somewhere. Fuzz. Um, so blue is anything to do with my boutique. I write in a blue pen. And anything to do with like home or basically anything else is with a black pen. I don't know why. It's just how my mind works. Like here's my to-do list. That's how I do it with my to-do list too. So yeah, I keep, I have thousands of these pens everywhere. But, yeah, so I keep those with me. Um, next, I just have one of these rolly ball things. This is a Taylor Swift one. I got it from Target when it was on sale. I don't know. It's just when I don't want to smell bad. And it, it actually smells pretty good. I like it. But it's almost empty. I need to get a new one. Um, I got some flossers. Little flosser things. I'm obsessed with flossing my teeth. And then I have a chapstick because why not? Oh, and last is... <laughs> This is a Squarespace um, card reader. I don't really use Squarespace anymore. I use um, my Shopify card reader, but it's bigger, so I don't really keep, I don't like carry it with me. But I do still hold on to my Squarespace in case I just have a quick sale that I need to do. Um, need an extra card reader. So I'm going to try putting everything back in here so I don't make a huge mess. Okay, and then on one side pocket, I have, I just noticed my sunglasses are in here and I've been looking for these forever, so. That's good. Those are my those are my Ray Bans. I don't really use these as often anymore because they are really bad um, scraped up. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really bad. Um, <laughs> they're just really disgusting. And then oh, a concealer because you know, quick touch-ups. The other side, oh, I just have a little wall plug for my charger. Now moving on to the inside of the bag. So like I said, there's so much stuff in here and I love how it opens up and I can just get whatever I need. And the fact that it has a flat bottom so you can just set it down and not worry about your bag like tipping over or and everything falling out. I hate that because when my kids were in diapers, like both of them were in diapers, um, when we'd be in a changing room or something, I would lay my bag down and every single time everything would just fall out and it's so stressful and aggravating i was that mom in the bathroom like having an anxiety attack because i had a do um, my son on the changing table my daughter in the buggy her going through my bag my bag falling everywhere diapers and crap all over the place while trying to change the diaper and i would literally feel like just crying honestly because there would be so many people around you and it was, I just always felt so judged and like people were probably like, oh my gosh, this girl is losing her mind, which I was. <laughs> but I was a single mom. Like I did it all. Anytime we had to go grocery shopping or something, if my toddler who was potty training needed to go to the bathroom, we literally would have to leave our buggy in random spots of the store just to be able to go to the bathroom. And we'd have to drop everything, go to the bathroom real quick, and 90% of the time, she wouldn't make it. I mean, now she does, but like when we were first potty training, she wouldn't make it and then that's just a whole ordeal it's so stressful and people don't understand how hard it is to take toddlers into a store and that's why i'm so thankful nowadays for grocery pickup and it's been the only good part about corona i know it sounds terrible but like we discovered grocery delivery best thing on this planet every week i have groceries delivered to the house so i don't ever have to worry about going into the store 
but we, I mean, we still do. We still have to go to Target every once in a while, but for the most part, we just have groceries delivered, and it's a godsend. I swear, it's the best thing ever. If you've never done grocery delivery, you need to. And I'm going to be doing a whole video on this, on like how I make money, or like how I make a little extra cash, and one way that I've been doing is the Drop app. So if you don't have the Drop app, make sure you use my little code down below to sign up for um, to sign up for your Drop app. I think you get like five dollars or something like that, and it does help me out as well. But every time you order groceries, I think it's like two thousand points you get on your Drop app, which is two dollars. So just by ordering your groceries that you're already going to order, um, you'll get a little extra cash. So. That adds up after a while, trust me. It pays for my coffee, which is a must for me. Okay, so I'm just going to start pulling things out of the bag. Um, I have my keys just sitting on top, and these, actually, when we're home, are not in my bag. I just leave them hanging up next to the door. But when we're out in public or, like, after we leave the house and I don't need my key key, my, like, key part, it is in my bag. It stays in my bag because the my car just uses the sensor thing. So, sorry, I have morning voice, and I'm noticing it's going in and out really bad. <clears throat> yeah, I have my keys here. So, I used to sell these in the shop. I don't anymore, but um, we sold out within two days. I might order some more eventually, but they're just these little, I don't know, little bracelets for your keys. But they're really handy. Sorry, it's very loud. Um, I got my AirPods, my mailbox key, my house key, and then my money box key for like pop-up shops and stuff um i have my car key this is a new one, or like my spare one so it still has this tag on it i don't know and then a mask of course because you know corona um and then i have my little wallet here just i just keep my cards pretty much just cards in here i think i have a little cash but mainly just keep my cards that i pretty much always need like my license and bank card and stuff like that the next thing on top is a hairbrush um I have very, 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 very thick hair, and my daughter has extremely thick and curly hair, so we brush our hair <laughs> about 50,000 times a day, so I have to have a hairbrush. Um, the next thing is my beauty bag. Um, this is just, like, things that I like to keep with me at all times. I guess my concealer should be in here, but um, I have a hair clip, because like I said, I have thick hair, so, and my hair is always in my face. I never keep it down. Like, it's just for videos or pictures, but like I always either clip my hair back, which this is terrible. <laughs> I always keep my hair clipped back, or I use like these little hair ties um, for my hair. But I have my daughter's hair ties, which are these little elastics. These are the best for her hair. She likes piggy tails, so we do a lot of piggy tails. I have a little first aid kit because toddlers. Yeah, toddlers. I have. <laughs> Q-tips, but this was, I put this in here because when we last went on a trip, it was one of those things like I left in the, like, left sitting on the counter after I finished pack, packing our stuff back up, and I just threw it in my bag. But, I do love Q-tips, like, I have this weird obsession with clean ears, like, if my kids' ears look even the slightest bit dirty, I have to clean them immediately, and then same with my own ears, so, yeah, I have to have clean ears, I don't know why. I have a nail file because I always have my nails done, and... You just need a nail file. Um, more chapstick. Lots of chapstick. Um, yeah. Nail glue because you never want your nails to fall off. <laughs> That's <laughs> truth. You just, just need nail glue. I got a few hair ties of my own in here. So these are my favorite ones to use. But I use these when I'm putting, putting my hair up in just like a cute ponytail. Um, or like going to the gym. These hold my hair up really good. I have my favorite lipstick on this planet. It's Lipstick Queen. Um, so freaking pretty and oh there it is. Okay. It's just so pretty. I love this color. It is the truth. It's really really pretty. Next I just have a deodorant. So this is just one I got from Walgreens. Um, the reason I keep deodorant with me because a lot of people are like that's disgusting. You shouldn't have that in your bag. But I keep it with me because I'm the type of person, <laughs> this is so gross, but I forget to put the iron on a lot. Like, it's just not part of my morning routine. It should be, and I know it's nasty, and I know I really need to, but I always forget to put the iron on. But I always remember pretty much the second I leave the house, so I just keep one with me, you know. You know, you don't want to be stinking. 
Um, I have a few Play-Dohs in here because my kids are obsessed, freaking obsessed with Play-Doh right now. When we're in a store or if we go out to eat or anything like that, I just like to have something for them to keep them entertained. Um, to go along with that, I have my son's car. He has to have a car with him everywhere he goes um, or a tractor or something like that. He's a boy boy. Like He's obsessed with dirt and trucks and cars and mickey mouse like so i just keep an extra car or tractor with me at all times i also have a few of these in the car um in my center console just because that's the one thing that my son will break down over is not having a car with him he's too like it's whatever um and then on my daughter's sunglasses my daughter loves to copy me so every time i put a pair of sunglasses on she has to copy me um oh here's another pair of sunglasses these are the large gold sunglasses that are sold in the shop. They're so freaking pretty. I love these things. They're so similar to my Ray-Bans. It's ridiculous. I love it. I have a pack of gummies. Um, and then I have this very large bag, which takes up the whole bottom of my bag. But it's this bag is a necessity. I have to take this no matter where I go. Um, toddlers, you know. Here, I'll show you what's inside. So I look, first off, I love this bag. I got it on, on one of our trips to Disney. Um, I ordered it before we left because I just thought it would be handy to have. It's a dry bag, so whenever your kids have an accident or spill something on them, you can put their wet clothes in here. So I keep all the clean clothes and diapers and stuff in here, and then if I need it for like the wet bag part, then I'll just take everything out and put it in my bag and put the wet clothes in here. So I got this for our Disney trip because um, lots of accidents and outfit changes happen at Disney so these are a godsend I have about four of them um, when we do go to Disney I just you know almost every single day I have to change it out because once you put clothes in here that have been peed on <laughs> you need to wash it first um, and they're also really great laundry bags just saying like I just they're just really good laundry bags too so anyways I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in here pretty simple I just have Oh, swim <laughs> swimsuits because we take random trips to people's houses to go swimming. So I have this is my daughter's, and then my son has Star Wars because I'm obsessed with Star Wars. Um, a onesie for my son. He is almost three, two and a half. His birthday's in January, but he still wears baby clothes, and it, I mean, it makes me happy, but it makes me sad too. He's so small. But anyway, so he is in 24 month clothing. So he has a onesie in here, a little pair of shorts, and my daughter has just a dress. Dresses are the easiest thing to um, change toddlers into when they have an accident. So I think dress is just perfect. And I also have a couple of diapers in here and then my daughter's panties. Okay, the bag's almost empty and I realized I have all these masks in here. Oh gosh, I really need to take these out and wash them. but. Um, these are just a few of the masks that we sell at SS Design. Um, we done a photo shoot a few days ago, so I just had them all in there. But we have our, one of our new leopard prints. This is one style that we have, you know, really nice, lightweight. One layered mask, so easy to breathe in. But then these are our new ones that I'm obsessed with. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Um, but yes, we have this one. We have our snake print, which is really popular right now. I don't know. Snake print is just totally in. Camo, which is one of my favorites. I love camo. It's one of my favorite prints. And then our American flag um, mask, which is obviously extremely popular right now. I love our new masks that we got in. Honestly, masks are probably one of my top sellers right now, which I understand why, but it was very shocking at first. I Honestly, it took me a while to even want to carry masks in the shop, but once I did, they started selling like crazy, so yeah, I really like those. Here's another pack of gummies, a water pen. I don't know what these are called, but they go with a certain kind of coloring book that my kids keep in. So their car seat, you know, where the car seat sits, the back of my seat or the back of the passenger seat is in front of them, obviously. Um, we have a, like a little pocket thing on the back of the seats and I keep their coloring books, um, extra paper and stuff for like these and other items. Sorry guys, my camera died so I had to go grab my backup camera or my backup um, battery. But anyways, continuing on, we're almost done. I'm so sorry, this video is getting extremely long. 
But yes, this is my daughter's hand sanitizer. It's got Anna on it, so she's obsessed with it. My daughter is still obsessed with Frozen. I don't know about you guys, but like my friend's kids, they go through their phases, you know, like with different Disney characters and all that good stuff. But my daughter has been obsessed with Frozen for two years now. And it's, it gets a little, oh, it's a lot. But I guess, I guess it's good. She just has one obsession, that's it. Okay, the next pocket is the back pocket that's in the bag. And I keep, I know I keep Finiman products in here. I don't know what else. What else is in here? If I can get it open, there it goes. Yep, all that's in here is feminine products. So I'm not going to show you that, guys, because TMI. But in this back pocket right here, which is on the back of the bag, I keep my kids' um, the mess-free Corolla markers and paint stuff. So these are amazing. If you ever heard of these, um, they're amazing if the kids make a lot of messes <laughs> and love markers. So my daughter and both my daughter and my son hate using crayons for some reason. They are upset. They have to use a marker for everything. Um, but I hate markers because they color on themselves. They color on my table. Like when we go out to eat, they just try to make a huge mess. So we started getting these, um, the mess free, the mess free color wonder markers. And all their paper and stuff is in the car. Because like I said, it's just a big, a regular size piece of paper. Um, they have a pack of it that I just pull out a couple sheets whenever we're going into a restaurant or while we're going down the road, they can get some. But by using these, they can't make a mess. If they draw on themselves on accident or if they're moving around, jostling around, they can't draw all over the furniture or anything at a restaurant or at somebody's house. So I highly suggest getting these if you have young toddlers that tend to draw on everything. Um, if you've seen my daughter's room, you would understand even more why I love these now because her walls have markers all over marker marks all over them it's just it's so bad but anyways if you're interested in this bag I will definitely leave a link down below as well as a discount code so you can pick one up um they're just really nice high quality bags that you don't have to worry about messing up if you did enjoy this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me it helps me out so much and make sure you're subscribed because the next video that will be uploaded next week is going to be a how I make money or how I make side cash video and I think a lot of you will be interested in that and it'll be good insight on how you can make extra cash as a stay-at-home mom or I think everyone likes to make a little extra cash so make sure you stay tuned and hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification whatever you need to do to make sure you're back here next week to check out that video i would greatly appreciate it but i hope you all have a wonderful day i'll see you guys in the next video bye now i get to clean up this mess look at this Mwah. yay